Hello and welcome to Analyst Hangout. I am Perpetua Fasomi Peter. Well, today I'm joined by three gentlemen. I have two of them already with me. One has joined virtually. Well, I have another right here with me in the studio. Ambrose Omojo, the Chief Research Officer at Investor Consulting, is right here with me in the studio. Thanks for joining us today. Perpetua, God bless you. <laughs> you may. <laughs> All right, Kasim Udaba Kufi, the MD CEO, APT Securities and Funds Limited, will be joining us later. And we also have with us virtually Oladipo Ajayi, the head fixed income Chapel Hill Denham. Good to have you join us today. Mr. Oladipo, if you can hear me, thank you for joining us today. All right. Well, we'll begin with the stock market review now. And they're looking at the stock market review. We'll do uh, just a quick rundown. Mixed sentiment continued on the Nigerian exchange. The benchmark NGX All Share Index gained 0.1% on Friday, reversing the loss witnessed in the previous session. Also, market players continued to digest the recently released corporate earnings and align their portfolios ahead of year end seasonality macroeconomic reports like October inflation data third quarter GDP and MPC meeting later in the month, coupled with the implementation of the Naira redesign by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Well, these are the happenings that have somewhat shaped uh, the activities on the Nigerian exchange, and uh, I have Ambrose right here with me. So uh, I'd like you to talk to us about the Naira redesign. Has it had any impact on the market so far? Uh, no, the design is coming to kind of uh, add weight to the CBN uh, monetary policy in terms of uh, rate hike and others that they've done rate hike for I said it last time 400 basic points in the last uh, five to six months and they've not felt the impact much for that they need to look at why is it that you no know, money outside the coffers of the bank are more than what the bank has that's why they're coming with a new redesign so that they can control such flow at the same time that will be for the good of the economy and also for investors but if you look at we just said the market for the week has been in a mixed trend and which is expected because no liquidity in the market, and at the same time, all eyes on what the event of folding as a election draw closer. But for investors to know that in every coin, there are two sides of a coin. That means the market is known to have the bull and the bear. And when the market is at the extreme of the bull, it sends a signal. When it's also at the extreme of the bear, it sends a signal. That means for you to be you know, a successful investor, a trader, you must understand this circle of the market and also where are we in the economic circle at the same time to guide you to take what your decision but i believe that the earnings that came from quoted companies are giving us insight what you expect at the end of this correct financial for those that had the same bar as year end that means investors should just sit back look at this number and start positioning in those companies that yes their earnings have surpassed their you no know, their performance in 2021 and all those that also their q3 is also positive even inside what's likely to happen at the end of the year. I said in this program within the week that between now and end of uh, December, because it's a festive period, we're going to see a lot of improved uh, activities of consumption and everything, even importation, everything will be increased because guys, you can see now the way the road is building up already for December that something is about to happen because of what the season. We believe that this also have a role of imparting company performance. For that means the last quarter of the year was to be a plus to what we have seen already in Q3. That means on that strength, most of these companies are likely to give us you know, reasonable dividend that also now their price have come down to become more attractive for you investor that uh, that's why i said in any situation for you to successfully invest you must know where the market is and where the economy is if the company's fundamentals are good we're all looking at to see improved liquidity and after liquidity, like what i told of my colleague that in going to the future we're going to expect to what we call financial market reset if you're running research, going to go beyond this financial market, economic and political. That means in 2023, we want to see a change economy, a change political and a perception of, you know, about the That is, means this is the time for you to prepare for those opportunities the reset will come with. That means for investors, this are, for me, low prices and company numbers are strong. Don't need to panic at exactly. all. Exactly. Low prices and strong <laughs> fundamentals. Yeah. All right. Oladipo, if you can hear me right now, uh, very quickly, I'd like you to share your thought on the equities market, uh, after which I'd like you to give us an overview of the fixed income market. Yeah, thank you very much for having me today. Um, like um, Ambrose Ivy mentioned, um, the equity market was actually missed this week, and uh, as expected, um, uh, we saw a bit of activity on some instruments. Uh, we saw on, act on NTN, we saw crosses on access bank. And I think uh, some people are really taking advantage of the market. That's the market's highly underpriced. Uh, most of the instruments in the market, when you check them and look at uh, their value, 
you know that currently the markets on the price and that i think the global current market is actually overshadowing the value that the markets of or the markets of the equity market is bringing to the table if you look at uh, most of the results released by most of the companies uh, it means that even in this uh, doom and doom and doom uh, situation uh, most of these companies are still showing a very good result and there is a point out to the fact that uh, there is still a lot of value in the market for smart investors uh, to actually take advantage of. So um, I think um, the week uh, still ending uh, on, on, on the bright side for a lot of investors that feels that uh, uh, is an opportunity in the market because we're looking at the prices where most of these instruments are actually trading. And a lot of market positioning for, 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 for the likely uh, uh, value that the uh, Full year will actually bring to, to them because we look at the prices now. When you look at uh, most um, uh, uh, company that has um, accident of great uh, dividend payment, their uh, dividend yield is um, simply uh, more more double digits now, which to some extent can actually counter what the fixed income can actually bring to the table. Uh, at any particular point in time. All right. I, I like that you've mentioned the fixed income. I think this is the point where I'd like you to give us an overview of what's happening there. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, on the fixed income side, uh, I was thinking about moving to fixed income. On the fixed income side, uh, for this week, we saw a bit of activity in the market. Last week, uh, uh, the market witnessed about uh, 185 billion of home payment that uh, actually hit the system. And to also um, um, further stretching the value in the market, uh, we saw uh, um, fact payments also hit the system uh, on Friday and on Monday. And uh, as a result of that, the overnight rates uh, that used to be um, um, double digits actually came as low as uh, 8%. As at uh, opening today, we have over 500 billion uh, still in the system, but we are expecting CBN to actually debit, um, yeah, to actually eat the system with CRM debit uh, for, for, for today. Uh, but with the level of liquidity in the STEM system, as a result of the level of liquidity system, uh, we saw a bit of activity on the bond side and most especially on the long dated instrument. Um, the 2037 instrument was the most traded instrument uh, as a result of demand. Um, the instrument opened the, the week at around 16%, uh, but at close of the week, uh, uh, was already trading about 30, 30 basic points below where it opened. That is around 15.9, and that also put a cost. Of other maturity. Uh, as a company of business today, we also saw interest on the treasury bills. Uh, looking at the fact that one year data is currently giving you a uh, effective yield of close to 17%. So that's also a point that to a very good investment for a lot of people. And uh, that's also, uh, we also saw a great level of activity on that for the week. All right, thank you so much. Well, we have right now with us uh, Kasim Garuba Kurufi, the MDC CEO of APT Securities and Funds. Thank you for joining us today. I'm happy to be with you. Okay, so very quickly, give us an overview of the market uh, for the week. Well, uh, uh, we can see that the market synthetics, though, uh, gradually lost positive parts. At the same time, we are not satisfied with the way the market is going, which I believe that there is lack of foreign investors and institutional investors playing in the market. Because if you look at the average turnover, it's very low. Despite the fact that some of these companies give us a promising result and show that they can sustain their dividend and put their dividend in a double digit yield, yet the market is not responding. We hope. By the end of the year, the market will respond positively in view of the shorter time for receiving dividend. And some of the dividend can go as high as to up to 15 percent, which you cannot get it in the fixed income. But for now, the fixed income take the major player of the high institutional investors. They play the fixed income rather than the equity market. And, and the foreign investors are not coming, especially as the way the prices of dollar is rising scare the foreign investors to come because whatever the gain it can be eroded by the devaluation of the naira. Okay. Is there any possibility that investors are trying to hedge against all this by probably investing in foreign uh, foreign denominated um, assets or instruments? Well, you see, the foreign denominated instruments are not even available. Even if you want to buy it, where is it? So the truth of the matter is that uh, other assets like property may also benefit from this uprising because 
most of the people that hold their cash, they may not likely to bring it into the bank, not because of the possible questions, but they want to also avoid tax. So the best way to go is to maybe go for the property uh, uh, pump product, because you remember this is the investment period, and all these the prices are rising, and that shows you where the money is going, but it's not coming to the equity market. All right. Thank you so much, Elijah. I think uh, this is a good uh, place to take a break now. And uh, when we come back, we'll turn our attention to select results uh, that have hit the market so far. Stay with us. We'll be right back.